have you ever forgotten to book something on a shoot? That's a mistake you make once. How come I've done it several times? Because <laughs> you haven't had a good producer with you. You have a great opportunity when you're working for other photographers to not only learn how they're making their way through business, but what they're doing wrong. When somebody inquires and asks you to shoot their product, what is the best way to respond before pricing? There's not enough conversation about the job before it happens. Now this day rate is a conversation between you and yourself only. Because every time you're going for a job, you're trying to get as much as you possibly can. But you also need to understand where can you not drop below. For me, the estimate is your opportunity to be as transparent and upfront as possible with a client. Okay, so we've got a pretty good preliminary estimate built out. Let's start putting in some numbers. In the portrait world, we do session fees. And every single time somebody reaches out for a commercial bid, I have absolutely no idea. So in this section, we're going to talk about basic business practices. And the reason we're going to do that is because photographers don't work every single day. The money can be great one day, and there could be an incredible dearth the next week. Far too often, I have photographers that are wanting to, and client says, we need to bring this down a little bit. I'll bring my rate down a little bit. No, you're setting an awful precedent there, and you're undervaluing yourself. The one thing that I think is an absolute rule is you have to have a really solid understanding of how you shoot a job. 